volatility makes a higher low within a bullish regime of volatility. Gold on number two is up 49% over the same period. Every time we have an opportunity at the low end of the risk range, you wanna keep buying gold. Something that's making higher highs with falling volatility is clean cut the biggest asset allocations that I'll have no matter what it is. Incidentally, gold is one of my top three right now. Uh, but again, it's at the top end of the range, so today is not the day that you buy it. It's just a today that you have a good day. If economic growth wasn't slowing and we weren't right on the cycle, we wouldn't have had epic returns, relative or absolute, like we have. So again, understand the process over a longer period of time, i.e. the full investing cycle. Chinese stocks, which first of all are bullish trend, have gone parabolic, okay? That's one thing. Um, so we're bullish trend. We're obviously uh, bullish on that. So look at Australia. I mean, they were down one and a half percent overnight after making a lower high. Again, France, Australia, Japan. Those aren't like the 50th to 60th largest countries in the world, by the way. These are major factors in the global equity beta. Even if you don't believe it, at least it's got you thinking, oh, global equity is tied to US equity volatility? Yeah, all right, now we're talking, okay? So this is a real important setup. It's a, what we call a similar set. When you start to make lower highs versus that early June high, a month later, lower highs and volatilities regime continues to go upward.